Okay, I am now going to show you guys how to use uh, two apps that we're going to use uh, uh, for doing screen capture on these lab machines. That's Keynote and QuickTime. Okay, Keynote you're probably familiar with as a presentation software, but it actually can export QuickTime movies. Um, and so I'm going to recommend that you use that for uh, doing title cards, and then QuickTime can actually record what's going on on the screen with specific with whatever you have going on on the screen. And I'm going to use that for actually ca capturing some. Uh, usage of my Max for Live device. Okay, so starting with QuickTime, okay, uh, just create a new document. I do recommend the widescreen because that's closer to um, what you're going to find in video dimensions. Okay, so using the, the wide versus the standard. Okay, so it, it matches standard video uh, aspect ratios. You can pick whatever template you want or theme you want, okay? I'm going to pick the really basic black because I'm feeling kind of boring this morning, okay? Uh, and I'm going to create a, a a title slide for my uh, device, okay? And I'm going to put my name here. Maybe I want to put, you know, uh, I don't know if you want to put your Twitter handle or your Instagram handle or your website or whatever you want to, whatever information you want to put on this, okay? But this is the easiest way I've found to create a title slide because you can just take this title slide that you've created in Keynote and one of the things that Keynote does is allow you to, if you go to the file menu, export, there's this option here to export to QuickTime, okay? So again, file, export to QuickTime. That's going to pop up with a little menu, and if you have multiple slides, it'll play through that. Yes? You don't have export to QuickTime? Huh? Okay. That should be fine. Okay. <laughs> Made me nervous that they cut another feature. Okay, so export to movie should be the same thing as export to QuickTime, okay? Um, does, do you have these options that I'm showing up here? Yeah. Okay. So if you have multiple slides, it's going to play through them in order. I would encourage you to export each slide as its own movie because then you can insert screen recordings in between them. Make sense? So at the very least, create a, a title slide movie. Um, I, let's see, five seconds is kind of long for, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's long for the title slide or not, but you can kind of adjust the timing that it plays each slide in the movie right here. Okay. Um, and then format, you can export it as a 720p or a 1080p, depending on your, your, your standards. If you want to be able to watch it in on a big screen at home with mom and dad. Okay. Maybe you want to go with 1080p. Okay. Uh, so when you hit next, it's going to ask you where you want to save it, and it has this weird format of M4V, but this is going to be my title card. Ah, okay, I'm just going to save it on the desktop for me. Okay, hit export. It's going to do its thing. Uh, I'm going to hide Keynote, and there's my movie. If I double click on it, it's actually an open and quick time player, and I hit play, and it's a five second movie that all it has is my title card in it. Okay. This is the best place to start your, pro your, your screen recording project because now you've got a title card that you know is in the right aspect ratio for a, a 1080p or a 720p video. Did everybody get a movie output? Yes? Okay, so I can close that. Okay, now I want to actually do a screen recording with my Max for Live device, okay? Um, I would prefer that you show your device in action in Ableton Live, okay? Uh, because that's that's the ultimate goal is to produce a, something that works inside of Ableton Live. So I'm going to launch um, Live. I've got this other option here. Sorry. Okay, and I'm going to create an audio track. I'm going to stick a sound file on here. And then I'm going to take my, oh, let's see, can I make this a little smaller? There we go. I've got my Max for Live device over here that I've already exported. And I can just drag it onto my, uh, onto my channel strip, okay? So you, you need to get, hopefully you get to this point where your device, you know, looks like a, 
like it, like it fits in with other Macs for Live devices. Uh, you can feel free to add creative uh, pictures and fonts and all that sort of stuff, basically. But it 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 should have an interface when you drop it in on a channel channel uh, strip here. Okay, um, not something blank, which some of you got notes about that you having a blank interface, or uh, I shouldn't have to open it up in Max for Live in order to actually see the interface. We should see something here when you drag it onto your channel strip, okay? Uh, now comes the part where we need to screen capture this, okay? That we're going to use QuickTime for. So if you launch QuickTime Player, it's going to give you this screen where it's trying to open the movie. Uh, you don't need to do that. You need to go to f uh, File, New screen recording is what you want. So file new screen recording, okay? And uh, I, the, I could not find a simple way without you installing some hacking software in order to be able to record computer output, okay? So you're going to have to use the internal microphones when you do screen capture, which means you're going to have a little bit of a uh, uh, of a uh, degradation in your audio quality because it's going to be playing out of the speakers and then picked up by the internal microphone. Sorry, okay? Uh, there's no real way around that. You could, if you had the snowball microphones, actually select that right here. So this little down uh, drop-down menu here uh, will uh, let you choose the microphone. Make sure you have internal microphone picked at the very least, not none, otherwise you'll get no sound, right? Um, or if you have the snowball microphone attached, you can record from the snowball microphone as an option, okay? You can't record the system output. Okay. Not without installing a third-party driver, and I didn't want to get into that. Yeah. Okay? Got it. Yeah. So make, if, you're, if your level meters are dancing like this as you talk, like mine are, that means you're ready to screen record. If you hit the record button... It's gonna first. It's gonna give you this message about click to record the full screen or drag to record part of the screen. I highly encourage you to tr click to drag uh, for part of the screen because that's gonna make your uh, device bigger in your video than if it's only this small part of the screen. Okay. So if you click to drag, you can select part of the screen. And then you get a button that says start recording. You start recording, and it's now actually recording everything that's in that highlighted part of the screen. Okay, so if I hit play to actually start my, I'm lovely. My granular plugin is uh, doing its thing. Okay. Now keep in mind. It's using the internal microphone, so it's actually going to record me talking right now. So you want to think about what you're saying while you're doing your demo, okay? Because it's recording it all at once, the computer output and the microphone output, okay? When you're done with your demo, come up here to the top. You can kind of see up in that, that uh, menu up there, there's a little button that says, it's kind of like a stop button, and it will open a movie of what it just recorded. You probably have to go back to live and stop it from working. Uh, and maybe even disable your Max for Live device if it keeps making sound, which mine does. Uh, so, there's my QuickTime movie, okay. Is everybody able to, is everybody, I tried that, able to get a little short video out of it. Okay. So this is now uh, my screen capture, and you want to go ahead and save this. I don't know, this is my, I'm just going to call it screen clip. Great. Okay. It's going to actually save it as a movie file. What I didn't like about this initially is that when I was, was making these little movies, uh, let's see, double click it, this aspect ratio fits what I selected on the screen. It doesn't actually expand to 720 or 1080p uh, or whatever, okay? So that, that was why it was unpredictable, and that's why I am encouraging you to start in Keynote and export something that you know is the right aspect ratio, and then build on that, okay? So I now have two clips. I have my title card here. I have my screen clip here. If I open this title card up, uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and Ableton just so that it's not doing anything in the background, okay? If I open this title card in QuickTime, okay, and then I go to edit, 
add clip to end. So edit, add clip to end. I can then choose my screen recording and it will tag it onto the end of my movie. And when I hit done, I now have something that starts with my title card, plays it for five seconds, Everything and then it goes to my part of screen recording. Okay. okay. So if I uh, hit play, everybody see why it would be desirable to actually record part of the screen and not the whole screen. Right. Okay. It's much bigger. It's much easier to see what's going on. It does actually put this little graphic when you click Probably with your mouse. So that's nice that it actually gives you some sort of visual thing. feedback that mouse clicking is happening, so that when people right. are watching your movies. Now, uh, mind, I'm not it's hearing using the internal anything. microphone, so it's actually oh, going to record me down? talking no. right now. So you want to think okay. about what you're saying while you're doing your it demo. It might be because I have okay. two screen recording apps going on at the same time, but they're, not, they're fighting with each other, okay? In my office, when I did the screen recording with the internal microphone, it worked just fine, okay? So it might be that they're fighting with each other. Uh, but I now have a little 12 second, no, yeah, 51 second movie that I just made demonstrating my my video, okay, or my, my, excuse me, my, my Max for Live device. If I save again, let's see, do I have to save or do I have to export? Export as 1080p. This is my P2 demo. Save. It's gonna ex It's gonna actually merge those two videos together: the 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 title card video and the screen recording video. Uh, and if I now, can I save this finally? No, just close it, delete that. Uh, here's my demo video. So I, I have it exported in the right format. Microphone, so it's actually going to record I'm not sure why I'm not getting sound. Right. Let me know if you guys run into that problem. But this is now a video that I have a title card on it and I have a screen capture in it. Uh, you can export multiple title cards. You can record multiple screen captures and you can then just keep using that add clip to end feature in QuickTime to, to build your demo video. Does that make sense? Uh, it can be as simple as one title card and the rest of your video. That's fine. Or if you want, if you need to show it in different pieces and you want to have title cards in between, you can kind of build your video that way. Um, but that should give you a movie that is now ready to be handed into Blackboard and also uploaded to your favorite uh, video sharing service like YouTube or, or uh, Vimeo. Okay.